Hello and welcome to another episode of Disney Movie Investigation. If this is your first time watching, welcome to the show. On each episode, we take a look at a movie that is featured on Disney+. Plus. On this episode, we are taking a look at the world of animation as we take a look at the Disney classic Bambi. And if you are enjoying these videos, please do hit that subscribe button. That way you will be notified with each new episode. But for now, sit back and enjoy this episode of Disney Movie Investigation. <laughs> So like I said, today we're covering Bambi. Uh, this movie was released on August 9th, 1942, and was directed by David Hand. It is based on the novel Bambi, A Life in the Woods by Felix Salton, and the production companies were Walt Disney Productions. And the movie was distributed by RKO Radio Productions. The budget for this movie was $858,000, with a box office return of $267.4 million. But let's take a look at the development. So in 1933, Sidney Franklin, who was a producer and a director at MGM Studios, purchased the film rights to Felix Haltain's Bambi, A Life in the Woods. He wanted to make the movie as a live action film based on the novel, but after years of development, he determined that it would be too difficult and he sold the rights to Walt Disney in 1937. Disney put the film into, or put the project into development with the intention of it being the second animated film right after Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. However, there were several difficulties as the novel was written for an adult audience and the artist had a difficult time drawing deer realistically. This caused Disney to put the film on hold and focus on other projects such as Fantasia and Dumbo. On, on August 17, 1939, progress slowly resumed on Bambi due to the ever-changing studio atmosphere at the time. The story of the film went through several changes, um, such as Thumper's brothers and sisters having more of a role, as well as entire sequences being dropped, including a sequence where Bambi discovers an anthill. Uh, for the animators, Disney wanted the film to have the animals to be as realistic as possible, so Disney would bring in his animators to the zoo on frequent trips, as well as bring animals into the studio and have lectures from wildlife, wildlife artist Rico Lebron on the movement of animals. The backgrounds were inspired by Eastern American woodlands, and artist Maurice J. Day spent several weeks in Vermont and Maine forests sketching and photographing wildlife in the forest. The main influence on the background is Chinese animator Titus Wong, who created revolutionary impress impressionistic backgrounds which would feature more details in the center, forcing the viewer to focus on the characters. And, the end of the and at the end of the production, because of World War II and the financial failing of both Pinocchio and Fantasia, Disney had to cut 12 minutes out of the film to save on production costs. So now that we know the production, let's take a look at the cast. So for Bambi, we have a combination of actors because uh, because this film took so long to develop, um, and produced. They had to use several child actors because they weren't with real life children. So, so for Bambi, it was a combination of Bobby Stewart, Donnie Duncan, Hardy Albright, and Jonathan John Sutherland. For Thumper, it was a combination of Peter Behan, Tim Davis, and Sam Edwards. Uh, Bambi's mom was voiced by Paula Winslow. Uh, Flower was uh, voiced between a combination of Stan Alexander, Tim Davis, and Sterling Holloway. Uh, Sterling Holloway played the adult flower, by the way. Uh, Owl was voiced by Will Wright, and Feline was voiced between uh, Cami King, who played the young Feline, and Anne Gills, who played the adult Feline. And then the great prince was Fred Shields. So let's take a look at the plot now that we know the characters. So, did it, so in terms of the plot, it is spring, and all the animals of the forest are excited by the forest's latest birth. A buck fawn his mother has named Bambi. The animals are more excited than usual as Bambi's lineage means he will inherit the title of Prince of the Forest. Along with his mother, Bambi inv investigates through life with the help of his similar age friends, Thumper and Flower. Bambi has learned that they, early that the lives of deer and many of the other forest animals are not without their inherent dangers, for deer especially in the beautiful, albeit exposed, meadow. Bambi will also find that his ascension to Prince of the Forest is not a guarantee, as other buck deer and situations may threaten that ascension. Uh, so this movie being a Disney classic has several uh, aspects of its legacy. So um, in, within the studio, the phrase man is in the forest would actually be used by the Disney employees to warn other employees when Walt was coming. 
Uh, the Silly Symphony Sunday comic strip would also produce a three-month-long adaptation of Bambi running from July 19th to October 4th, 1942. In terms of its influence, uh, Paul McCartney has stated that the, shoot, that the shooting death of Bambi's mom is what started his interest in animal rights. The off-screen villain Man was included in the American Film Institute's list of heroes and villains ranking as high as number 20. Uh, Disney would actually use, loan the, the Bambi characters to create ads for fire pre prevention, and because the characters were only loaned for a year, this led to the creation of Smokey the Bear after Bambi, resorted, Bambi and the character rights went back to Disney. Uh, Bambi and his mom would also make cameo appearances in several other films, including a Donald Duck short called No Hunting. And then, to prove the long-lasting legacy of Bambi, in 2006, the Ad Council and the United States Forest Service created a series of forest fire prevention ads that featured both Bambi and Smokey the Bear, so a coming together of the two major characters. Uh, Bambi Plush has been created throughout the year and has been included as the Disney Wishbone series for 2019. And in terms of the theme park, both Thumper and Miss Bunny are often spotted for character meet and greets in Disney's Animal Kingdom. And the Bambi characters are often used for topiaries for Epcot's Flower and Garden Festivals. And then just last year, for Epcot's, or for Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World, Bambi and Thumper were chosen as part of the character golden statues that are currently on display at Disney's Animal Kingdom. So would I recommend this movie? Um, I really like this movie as it's a great depiction of animation as art. Uh, you really notice the backgrounds of Ty Titus Wong. Um, his backgrounds are incredible. Uh, a lot of the times, this time I was looking specifically at the backgrounds and it's just a beautiful, beautiful works of art. Um, I think the story is simple, but it's with great characters and really memorable with Thumper, Bambi, and Flower all standing out. Um, I love the scene with Bump, Thumper and Bambi uh, playing on the ice. I just think it's incredibly well done. Uh, so I really recommend this as a great family film as it is able to introduce younger ones to nature and older audiences can appreciate the animation as art. So I think it hits on all, on all cylinders in terms of a family film. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us here on Disney Movie Investigation. I would ask you to please leave a comment below on what you think of the movie Bambi. Um, and as we look forward to our next uh, next Disney investigation, we're going to look at a preteen favorite as we take a look at Aquamarine. So until next time, I hope you have a magical day, and we will see you real soon.